So myths are stories of, of the search by men and women through the ages for meaning, for significance, to make life signify, to touch the eternal, to understand the mysterious, to find out who we are. People say that what we're all seeking is a meaning for life. I don't think that's what we're really seeking. I think what we're seeking is an experience of being alive so that uh, the life experiences that we have on the purely uh, physical plane will have resonances within that are those of our own innermost being and reality and uh, so that we actually feel the rapture of being alive. Uh, that's what it's all finally about and that's what these uh, clues help us to find within ourselves. Myths are clues? Myths are clues to the spiritual potentialities of the human life. Joseph John Campbell was an American mythologist, writer, and lecturer who is best known for his work in comparative mythology and comparative religion. One of the greatest accomplishments in his career was the theory of the monomyth. The monomyth, or hero's journey, was first introduced in Campbell's The Hero with a Thousand Faces. In comparative mythology, the monomyth is the common template of a broad category of tales that involve a hero who goes on an adventure and in a decisive crisis wins a victory and then comes home changed or transformed. Since its introduction in 1949, it has been successfully applied to literature, film, and more. There are many interpretations of the hero's journey, but today we will be focusing on this one. In this video, we will see if the monomyth is still applicable to modern media by comparing it to the classic film, The Matrix. Let's begin. Thomas Anderson lives a double life as a regular citizen as Neo, a hacker. His call to adventure is receiving a cryptic message referencing The Matrix. He refuses the call by talking to Trinity, but confuses it for a dream. When Morpheus offers Neo a red pill, one that will show him the truth, or a blue pill, one that will return him to his old life, he chooses the red pill and wakes up from the matrix, marking the crossing of the threshold. Here he meets the challenges that await him as Morpheus trains him to fulfill his role as the One, who will free humanity. Eventually he faces the abyss where Morpheus is captured and he blames himself. He re-enters the matrix to save Morpheus. but he gets shot and killed by Agent Smith. This is where we see transformation and beginning of a return, where he comes back to life. And that's when he kills Agent Smith. Then he makes a call on the Matrix, telling the machines that he indeed will free humanity. So there you have it. That's just one of many examples on how the monomyth can still be applied to modern media. In this video, I applied Joseph Campbell's monomyth to a very classic film, The Matrix, and it can be applied to many more. This just goes to show the impact that Joseph Campbell made on the world and in literature, and how the monomyth, along with the myths it represents, will live on.